Today, we're going to try to revive this 2007 MacBook. Stay tuned to find out how I do it. The MacBook A1181 made its debut in 2006. In 2006, it came with an Intel Core Duo, and in 2007 to 2009, when they stopped making it, it had an Intel Core 2 Duo. Now, I picked up this A1181 from Goodwill a couple of weeks ago for $24. This is the Core 2 Duo. It had one gig of DDR2 RAM and no hard drive. So what I did is I took this, put a Kingston solid state drive in it, and proceeded to try to do an over the air restore, which didn't work. So then I found a copy of OS X Lion and installed it on there, but found that a lot of the browsers wouldn't load web pages because they were so far out of date. So the MacBook is currently running Mac OS 7.5 Lion. And we're gonna take a look at that right now. Here it is booted up with OS Lion 10.75. Now this is the highest version of OS X this device will ever be able to get. And I've run every single one of the updates. And to be able to get web pages to load properly, I've had to go through and download a legacy version of Firefox because I can't update Safari and I can't update any of the other apps to be sufficient enough and secure enough for today's modern web pages. So what are our choices here? Well, I can leave it stock like this and use it for basic web browsing, YouTube videos, things of that nature. Or we could do my favorite thing to do to old machines and install Cloud Ready, making this a Chromebook. So you can do basic things like get to YouTube through the Firefox Legacy app, watch some YouTube videos. Um, this is a very old MacBook. And so your video quality, I think the best you're going to get 720. Oh, maybe 1080, um, which is going to be great for, you know, basic YouTube videos for what the screen will do. The audio, however, is atrocious, um, and that's just the nature of it. So. I mean, it's a really old machine, so I'm not really terribly interested in the sound. So first step is to shut down the machine. And while that's shutting down, we'll go over here. I like these older MacBooks like this because you can basically open these things up and do what you need to do very, very quickly. Pretty much anything can reach in here and undo the battery and it comes out. And then it's a simple matter of getting in here and removing one, two, three screws. Get in here. And there you go. Those seem to be captive screws, I honestly don't remember. But you have two channels here for RAM, and I've maxed this out with what I had lying around, which is two gigs. And then the hard drive is right in here. Now, I'm not gonna overwrite what I had on the original partition, so I don't wanna wipe out what's on here because I worked so hard to get it actually working. What we're going to do instead is put another hard drive in there. And 
and install Cloud Ready. Now, if you've got a pretty keen eye, you'll notice that I'm using some pretty heavy duty hard drives. And these are old scrap server hard drives that we had lying around at the office that aren't being used for anything else now. So it's just that easy to replace a hard drive on the 2006 MacBooks. And boy, how times have changed. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this MacBook. I'm going to take this 2007 MacBook, and we are going to install Neverwhere's Cloud Ready on this device. Here's how we do it. So the first step is to create a cloud-ready disk. And to do that, we're going to go to Neverware's website and download the cloud-ready USB creator. All right, so here we are in our downloads. Now I'm going to click on this cloud-ready USB maker. Pull this down here. Click Next. Next. Select the only disk available and click Next. And I'll be back once this is finished. Now, from what I'm understanding, this is not a bad thing. There's our boot system starting to show up. So that all is completely normal. Now we just sit back and relax and wait for the rest of it to finish. Now the disk is created, so I'm going to go ahead and click Finish, and we'll head back over to the MacBook. All right, so we've got our cloud-ready disk. We're going to go through the process of allowing this to load up. I'll get connected back into it, and we will see if we can install. Here we are at the main screen. Get started. Connect to the network here. Then we will sign into Gmail here. All right. So now we come in here and we're going to try to install 
cloud ready erase hard drive and install cloud ready as this is installing I will probably speed up the video a little bit so that we can get so that we can get into the meat and bones of it Let's try with the USB out the power on the device and see what happens. All right. Since the software has been installed onto the local hard drive, I'll have to go through the startup again. But we've got Wi-Fi, we've got keyboard, we've got mouse, obviously display and USB ports. Get my authentication. And our time is right. now it's going through and installing all of my extensions but as you can see it is working apps are pulling down web stores there Let's see if the camera pulls up so it looks like the camera's not working, but other than that, it all seems to be there. It all seems to be working. Go into our settings, see if we can find the devices. So touchpad, keyboard, display, storage, power. Check for updates. It's completely updated. And you can come in here and just like any other Chromebook, you can access the web store. You can download apps, download Google Keep, for example, and they'll just all show up down here. So it's not a bad way to revive an old piece of equipment such as this see now we have google keep right there now this will work on a macbook or a windows laptop and almost does not matter how old the computer is to it doesn't matter how old the computer is 
for the most part. Um, I've used it on netbooks and older laptops, and it's really handy because you then can just make a Chromebook. You know, you can still just boot it right off the USB as well. Um, but you saw you saw the kind of speeds I was getting there, whereas this is a little faster. So we've taken this MacBook and we've replaced the hard drive. We've installed Cloud Ready OS and we've brought the computer back to life. Now, this computer can be used just like any other Chromebook. You can access printers, you can use Google Docs, Google Sheets, all the Google apps, you can browse the internet and do it all with relative ease. And the nice part is there's still not really anything stored on here, so you could use the smallest hard drive you could find to put in there. Now, the home edition of Cloud Ready is freely available on Neverware's website, and I'll have download links in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.